to the meeting. He's joining us now live from City Hall. So, Davis, what's on the agenda for tonight? Hey there, Angie. Tonight, the Greenville City Council has their first meeting of the new year, and they're actually getting started right now. The meeting started at 6 on a couple of items that will impact Greenville in a major way. Supas was at that meeting. He's joining us now in the studio. So, Davis, a lot to go over tonight. That's right, Courtney. Tonight, they awarded some construction contracts along with hearing some readings of some items on their agenda. But the big story from the meeting was the discussion to amend an ordinance which allows for crypto mining in Greenville. The council wanted to be sure that the decision they made tonight was in the best interest of the people of Greenville. We still have the power in our hands to listen to our constituents to say, is this what we want or is this not what we want? The city council awarded construction contracts for the Greenville Gateway sign and also talked about the second phase of bringing a sports complex facility to Greenville. I mean, we have great facilities here, we just don't have enough of them. So um, last year we booked 49 tournaments into Greenville and Pitt County. That's about $13 million of economic impact. But we turned away a lot of tournaments and we didn't even go after a lot of tournaments that we knew we couldn't have just because of not having those types of facilities. So the big item that saw discussion back and forth from the council was about ordinance number 22-014. The ordinance puts guidelines in place for crypto farms and data processing here in Greenville and was ordered in 2022. So what we're doing is we're taking another look at this ordinance. We're going to say, do we want it at all? Do we want to amend it? Do we want to keep it as it is? What does the community want and what do we want? If, if it was a, a very attractive kind of thing to bring in millions and millions and millions of dollars as I think this company promised they would be able to do. Um, what does it profit a person uh, to gain the world and lose their soul in the process? What does it profit our city of Greenville um, to gain lots of money through a new business initiative and lose the soul that we have because we have a wonderful city? The noise created a nightmare. It is the airplane that never leaves and like living beside Niagara Falls. Public comment from the community pushed to amend this ordinance to keep crypto mining out of Greenville. This is a very complicated issue. Yes. It's a nuanced issue. I think that I have been very clear and the community has been, been very clear that what we do not want is cryptocurrency mining with the noise, the environmental harm, and the uh, just the, the community sort of negative effects that come with it. The final decision was a motion for staff to gather a report that would educate council members and the public to consider making a text amendment to amend this ordinance. The city council wants to find a way to remove crypto farming and the negative effects it has on the community like noise and electricity use without removing the entire ordinance that puts guidelines in place for data processing of all kinds in the community. In studio, Davis Supis 9 on your side. Davis, thanks.